I'm in Ibiza. <laughs> oh my god, I feel like it's. I don't know what I feel like. I am in Ibiza. We have just arrived. We've just checked in. Uh, the room stun, stun, stunning. in the pool there for a wee minute well a few hours and now i think i'm gonna run a bath i mean i'm not a bath person but i don't know the bath's just appealing to me because it's just there like it's just there so yeah i'm gonna run a bath um and then i'm gonna get ready for dinner my friend cody is in Ibiza this week so i'm gonna meet up with her for dinner i'm so i'm so happy i'm so happy it's exciting, isn't it? <laughs> I wasn't gonna wash my hair. I'm gonna wear a bandana, but it's pretty. No, you know what? I'm not washing my hair. End of that conversation. Ready. Ignore the absolute state. This room is in. I just can't keep her in tidy when I'm getting ready. It's quite chilly, so I think I might wear. Can you vibe in it? <laughs> Look at us! Didn't have time to meet up today, but here we are in Ibiza having a wee apple spread, bread basket, in a vibey dress. It's a vibe. It's a vibe. It's show day. <laughs> Woke up really early this morning. Um, I woke up at like seven or five to seven and then I um, couldn't get back to sleep. That is one thing, that is one very annoying thing about me. Once I'm awake, I'm awake. Like I can't get back to sleep, that's it. So I woke up at five to seven and I've just had a really chill morning. I haven't left the room yet, but I did a little meditation on the balcony and then some journaling. I'm really enjoying this journaling. It's a bit of me. Um, and now I am just gonna go to the gym and then get a nice little brekkie in the hotel. Last night was so good. It was so, so good. I'm so glad I went. So Roger Taylor, the drummer of Duran Duran, had a DJ set in Pasha. So I went for dinner with Cody. That was lovely. Um, I don't remember the name of the restaurant, but it was really cute. And the steak was unbelievable. And then I went to Pasha on the way home. Because uh, Pasha is literally opposite our hotel. So it was like Duran songs, but they were all remixed. And they were proper bangers. Like proper, proper dance tunes I was like oh my god so I was having the time of my life I didn't stay long though because we have a show today I think we're on a 10 or half nine or something but Pete Tong like this is mad Pete Tong is on before us like he's doing 
He's doing a set before us. I'm sorry. Also, I don't know if I've told you this, the gig's in Ushuaia. Did I tell you that? The gig is in Ushuaia. Is this not the coolest day of my life? Yes, it is. I am quite nervous. I get like this on show days. I get this feeling where I can't catch my breath. Um, it's just pure nerves, like anxious nerves. I just need to remind myself, you know what you're doing, you've done it before, you love doing it, just do it. This is mental. I am in Ibiza, going to perform in Ushuaia after Pete Tong with Duran Duran. Mind blown. My mind is blown. Makeup is done. I just chilled this afternoon, took my time, did my hair and makeup on the balcony, ate some crisps. It was a vibe. And we are heading to Ushuaia now. Nerves. I have been nervous all day, I'm not gonna lie. Nerves have definitely kicked in. But anyway, we're heading to Ushuaia now. Um gonna see Pete Tong set. We've ordered foods, so we'll eat that when we arrive, and then um and then I'm on stage. <laughs> packed up and I'm ready to check out and I am sad about it. So last night was so fun, like just so good. Like I was literally standing on stage looking out being like, this is my job. And I was just so grateful. <laughs> uh, we didn't really do much after the show. It was half 11, quarter to 12 by the time we were off and then it was so warm, like I was trying to cool down. Um, and there was a few drinks backstage, nothing major. Um, I was just getting packed up. Met Pete Tong, got a photograph. It was a real fangirl moment. I said to Kath, the tour manager, I was like, I really want a photo with Pete Tong. And she was like, no problem, no problem, honey. And she went over and got him. And I was like, oh my God, this is really embarrassing. But I wanted the photo, so it had to be done. But yeah, he was lovely. We are leaving here at one on the private jet. Another big day, guys. Another big day in the life of... Hannah Montana. Mm -hmm. 